Hello and welcome to my video. Today I will be discussing computer organization and more specifically the von Neumann architecture. So a computer could be thought of as a device that takes input, processes that input, and then produces some output. And to do that, the computer uses five main devices. That being the central processing unit, main memory, secondary memory, input devices, and output devices. The central processing unit, more commonly referred to as the CPU or simply the processor of the computer, is where computations are run. This means this is where instructions are run on the computer. There are a few common brands of processors nowadays, and those are Intel and AMD. The graphics processing unit, also known as the GPU or a graphics card, can also be thought of as a CPU, just a type of CPU that is more specialized to run graphical computations. And the common brands of GPUs are NVIDIA GPUs and AMD Radeon GPUs. Main memory, also known as RAM, is where the programs that will be directly ran by the CPU and where data that will be directly accessed by the CPU is stored. This memory is volatile memory, and this means that whenever the computer is shut off, the memory is lost. So anything that is in main memory, when the power is lost to the computer, whether that be the power is unplugged to the computer, if there is a power outage, if the computer randomly shuts down, any power loss to the computer, that volatile memory in main memory or RAM will be lost. Secondary memory, like your hard drive, your solid state drive, a CD, flash drive, etc., is where programs and data are placed when they are not needed by the CPU. This is a type of long-term storage, and this long-term storage is non-volatile memory. This means when the computer is shut off, the memory is retained. And lastly, we have input and output devices. Input devices are going to be things like your keyboard, your mouse, your microphone, MIDI devices, any sort of device that can provide input to the computer. Output devices are going to be things like the monitor, speakers, a printer, secondary storage, any sort of thing that you can output to so the user is able to see that the computer has done something. And from this graphic, we can see that input devices tend to feed into the central processing unit, which then interfaces with main memory to be able to get instructions and data. And main memory will interface with secondary memory to also get instructions and data that are not already in main memory, but we'll go over that more in depth later. And then that is all sent back from the RAM back to the central processing unit. And when the central processing unit has finished processing, it will spit stuff out to the output devices. And that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.